Greetings everyone, I am the Mad Scientist, aka Dr. J. I'll admit, I didn't expect the attention that my Nami guide has gotten. Perhaps it's just because Nami's getting more popular, to the point where she just got a couple of nerfs. Or because I chose a title that's probably a bit too attention-grabbing, I don't know. Either way, thanks to all of you who watched it, and for your kind words on that video. I just released another guide for Maokai, after far too long of not releasing a guide. And to all of you who subscribed, thank you. I know I'm nowhere near the numbers of a large channel, but it does feel good that someone will actually listen to this rambling introvert. What I want to do in this update video is to give an idea of what I have planned for this channel. The champion guides are definitely what has brought most of you in, and I intend to do more of them. The problem I'm going to run into now is that I'm quickly running out of main champions. I was only half joking when I say I play Nami and Nami. Just based off of both guides, it takes about 4 games to get what I need, sometimes more if I'm looking for very specific footage, and assuming that LOL Replay will even work with me. Worse yet, I want the games to be victories in solo queue, in order to show you what I do to win when I'm being competitive, rather than what I can get away with against summoners and normals. I might have to rely on some games from Team Builder if I really want a guide done, but I'm hoping it won't come to that. By the end of August, I will be going back to college. But as strange as this may sound, that will actually help me make content more regularly. There are two major things holding me back right now while I'm at home. The first is my crappy internet. I have terrible upload rate, terrible download rate, it's just a mess. I had to let my computer sit overnight uploading the Maokai guide, and even when I woke up to check on it the next morning, it still wasn't done. I wanted it out sooner than it actually did get out, but it's still there so I won't complain too much. And once I get onto the dorm internet, I won't have to worry too much about being able to upload stuff, or a worry about a data cap. The second thing is that there isn't a lot of pressure to actually get things done. While I'm at home, apart from some family obligations, I don't have to worry about much during the day, which means it's very easy to just slack off and mess around on the interwebs or in a game rather than actually doing anything. I just transferred into computer science, so I'm going to end up being fairly busy, but because I'm going to be so busy, that will force me to be more consistent with my schedule, both in and out of class. There will definitely be some flexibility, just in case an assignment takes longer or shorter than I expect, but once that I figure out what I can and cannot do, it should overall help out in the end. I won't be able to devote entire afternoons to video editing anymore, apart from on weekends when nothing is going on, but I also won't have days where little to nothing gets done either. Once I get back to college, I'm going to blitz through the uploads for Through the Looking Glass, throwing out one a day. I know it's a series very few people watch, but it's the series I want to do, and I know fully well that I'm a bumbling idiot when I do live commentary. Part of that is to help my speaking voice whenever I don't have a script that I can throw in front of myself. But looking back, I'm thinking Diablo might not have been the best way to start out. By the time I go back to college, I should have all the gameplay finished up, which will give me plenty of time to work on other things. I'm looking to do something more story-driven and a lot shorter, so that it doesn't take months to finally conclude and to give me more to actually talk about. In order to also help my speaking voice, I'm debating on whether or not to do Hearthstone commentary. It's a fun game that I've been enjoying, and the Curse of Naxxramas expansion definitely has helped, and I've found that my strats have been working really well against what's currently popular for whatever reason. I've got one game that I isolated from about an hour of ranked play that I'm definitely going to upload, and if you're interested in seeing more, let me know. The fact of the matter is that it also takes a lot less time to edit together through the looking glass. I just have to set up the ending screen, look over the video and audio to make sure the balancing is right, and then just leave it to render. My editorial style videos, which are more long-winded discussions on whatever topic I might choose, definitely are more popular, as are my guides, but they also take a lot longer to get right. I usually only need one game, but it does require some research into the topic to make sure everything I'm saying is correct, and to make the video as cohesive as possible. Now that I can also do image overlay with my new software, that will also mean hopefully an increase in quality, but it will also mean more time being spent per video. I don't know how much time I will have to devote to my classes this semester, so I don't want to and haven't set anything in stone in terms of how quickly I'll be able to make content. All I know is that I would like to do one champion guide every month, but that's assuming I can get enough successful games in with that champion, and the circumstances around that month. While I make the preparations for those guides, I'll work on the editorial style videos, and I've got one plan based on our attitudes within the game that is coming together fairly nicely. In the end, what gets done will depend on what games I get and how much time I'll be able to devote. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this quick update video. 
thanks to all of you who subscribed, and I hope that I'll be able to deliver on your expectations. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.